Hello, my dear standers. Hello, everyone. I hope and pray that everyone is having a joyful and blessed day. Thank you very much for sharing with me your time. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and thank you for liking my videos. For those who have not yet subscribed, I encourage you click on that subscribe button so that we can always be together every time I come on. So today, I felt very led to share with you an encouragement that I believe is very important for you to know in your stand. Do you know that at this point in my stand, I have very little to almost none at all doubt that God is moving. You may not see anything yet, but without a doubt, I assure you that God is is moving. There are a lot of things in this world that I do not know. But here's what I do know. I am praying in God's will. So let me ask you, are your prayers according to God's will? Have you ever stopped and examined what you are praying for? Have you gone to His Word and checked if what you are praying for align with God's will. I know that my prayers align with His will because they align with His word. So my dear friends, here are some of the things that I pray for in confidence. In confidence because without a doubt, I believe that God hears me and is answering my prayers because they are according to His will. So I hope that you find encouragement in this. And if you do, I really encourage you to check and go to His Word and so that you are not only encouraged by me, but you are also convicted by Him, our God, who has given us His Word to stand on to believe in, and to hope for. So the first one is, do you pray against divorce? God definitely hates divorce. It is repeated and said in the Bible so many times how God hates divorce. One of them is in Malachi chapter 2, verse 16, wherein he tells us, the man who hates and divorces his wife, says the Lord, the God of Israel, does violence to the one who he should protect, says the Lord Almighty. So be on guard and do not be unfaithful. So if you are praying against divorce, I am telling you that God's word says that he hates divorce. So you are praying in God's will. Now, are you praying for your spouse's salvation? Are you praying that your spouse return to God? Are you praying that your spouse who does not perish in his sins? My dear friends, it is God's desire that all of his children be saved. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 4 tells us, God who wants all people to be saved and to come to a knowledge of truth. So praying for your spouse's salvation is very important because they have to be reconciled to God first. They have to return to God first before God brings them back home to you, to us. Do you pray for your spouse to come home and be reconciled with you? God desires that husbands be reconciled to their wives. 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 11 is an instruction from God that says, but if she depart, let her remain unmarried or be reconciled to her husband 
and let not the husband put away his wife. So if these are your prayers, then there is nothing that you're praying for that is outside the will of God. You know, if you have doubts, fears, I tell you this. The enemy wants you to give up. So he's trying his very best to let you believe his lies. Maybe because there are things happening that you cannot see right now. But they are happening. Maybe because God is already moving even though you cannot see it yet. Satan wants you to quit praying for your spouse because he knows that God hears your prayers. If your prayers weren't making a difference, I firmly believe that you would not be dealing with all of these thoughts and doubts. Believe that your spouse will return to the Lord. That God will make a way where there seems to be no way. Believe that God will have a moment of awakening for your spouse. The Lord is not done with him or her yet. Trust in God's perfect time. You would not want to interfere in any of God's plans. You are not powerful enough to do so anyway. So trust in Him completely. Trust and be confident that because everything that you are praying for is according to God's will, He hears you. And because God hears your prayers, He will definitely answer your prayers. This is a promise that he has given us in his word in 1 John chapter 5, verse 14 to 15. So know and be confident that for as long as you are praying in alignment with his will, he will answer your prayers. For me, I believe that my husband's testimony will be one that impacts many. It will impact nations. Our testimony will have an impact that will send the hounds of hell running with their tails stuck between their legs. Believe me, the enemy will be so shaken, he will never look back and never touch my marriage again. When God moves, it will be an amazing miracle that will glorify God for all to see. And that is why the enemy is trying to stop me, trying to stop you. So know that that is why the enemy is working double time to stop you. He is wearing you down. He is working double time to fill your head with lies, to get you to fear your situation, to doubt your restoration. But do not forget, put this, carve this in your heart. God's promises are real. He is the same God yesterday, today, and forever. And God's promises always, always come to fulfillment. So if you are praying in alignment with God's will, if you are praying against divorce, if you are praying for God's child, son or daughter, to be saved for their salvation, if you are praying to be reconciled with your spouse, then you are praying according to God's will. So you may be praying for a lost loved one, for your spouse, or you may be standing for a child. Don't give up. God hears all of your prayers. It is His desire for all to come to the knowledge of Him. And so if you are praying for your marriage, I encourage you to not stop because God loves marriages. He created it. Do you know that marriage is God's design? And it started all the way back from the story of Adam and Eve in Genesis. 
and it is said many many times in the bible that god hates divorce for what god has joined together let no man separate so keep praying for your spouse keep praying for your marriage because i am telling you and god's word is telling me that god hears you keep praying and keep believing for your miracle it will come it definitely will come god will restore you he will restore your spouse back to him and reconcile your spouse back to you he will restore your marriage so once again thank you very much for your time again do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that we can encourage each other every time we come on here thank you everyone and god bless you all